The first thing that we want to talk about is actually what's Linux? Well, Linux is an operating system and it's got a pretty long history. If we want to go back to the very beginning, we should talk about Multics. And Multics was a time-sharing operating system that was designed initially with a lot of security and the idea that a lot of people would be using the system in mind. Multics was a joint venture between a number of organizations, including MIT, General Electric, and Bell Labs. Eventually, Bell Labs pulled out of the project. And when Bell Labs pulled out, some of the people who were working on the project decided that they wanted to go forward with something that wasn't Multics, that had different goals from Multics. And so they ended up creating Unix. And Unix has been around now for over 40 years. And Unix actually turned into a good operating system to teach the concepts of operating systems. It's a pretty modular operating system. It actually has very simple ideas built into it. And so as a result of that, there were several books that were written that used the ideas from Unix to create an operating system and actually teach operating systems from. One of those was called Minix. And there were some books written about Minix. And Minix was actually the foundation for Linux itself. Now, Linux was created as a result of Linus Torvalds starting with Minix as an entry point and making changes to create an operating system that would run on a PC platform. We call it an operating system. What Linux actually is, to be more specific, is the kernel. And the kernel is the piece of the operating system that actually interacts with the hardware. And it is the place where all of the programs that you as a user use communicate with in order to get access to the hardware to do things like actually putting things onto a screen, for example, or writing out to a hard drive. So we need that software to be able to work with the computer. And that's actually what Linux is. Now, there's a lot of different pieces of software that we load on top of Linux as an operating system. And all of that software gets put together in a particular way. And we end up with what we call a Linux distribution as a result of the way it's all put together. 